map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north, from your old friend, Billy. Billy? A name I have not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Billy asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. This must be snowing here. Saxon and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less for land under Hemminger Yarl's rule. <laughs> Snottingham. It'll be good to see Vili again.
A fellow adventurer need to know the lie of the land? Where is the matter of my fee? All right. Now, show me your map. There is a place here. Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham. Skull! my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigve, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Heminger Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Vili and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Him and Arial is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Travel far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist. What do you see, Sunan? Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. Eivor! Eivor! I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve him, Mayal. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred a large work debt. But my youth rendered me too proud to pay it off. I wanted to raid, not toil. For my failure, Heming Yarl. Picks ashore! Protect the convoy! Run up the
convoy. Sail! Catch the wind! Sail down! Boys, back us around. The convoy is laid bare. Run up the stairs! The convoy remain careful, Eivor. These supplies bring fire to the Ukathorp siege. The convoy remains, Wolfkist. The convoy is unscathed. Heminger Jarl will be pleased. Can't raise the sail here. Green sail! I have orders to go to Stonenberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Vili and Heminger Jarl will be pleased to see you. Your son sent for me, Heminger Jarl. One of the happier messages I have had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It is good to see you again. Yeah, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stonebird, should any Picts escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your... ...girl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden Let's to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. 
You are not slurring, Willy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. Trick V and A4 have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? We can snatch glory together, unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. For all times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast! <laughs> The pig chief hides behind his men like a coward. You must be careful. No doubt he will be well Look for him on the high ground. And have his head for him in the yard. The pig chief hides behind his men like a coward. No doubt he will be well fortified. Look for him on high ground. I will have his head for him in the yard. Billy and the wolf is fight by your sides again.
sword.
Chief will make a stand in the tower.
Chief will make a stand in the tower.
Then take this soul. It'll be so our sin. to our sin.
Now to signal our victory. You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I am fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Hemminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. My son, all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Willy who summoned me? Or you, Hemminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Trigvi is wise and has a keen mind to lead. At the Althing, no one would doubt his succession if he was named. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. Vili. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right, but if I don't faint at the sight of them, you have oversold the view.
fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me to fight empty air, Vili. And trees and snowdrifts and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once. And a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who has had one too many blows on the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule feast. I'll have you remember. It is good to ride with you again, Arstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead and many pockets full of vomit. Dragon's tail it was then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? Ha! <laughs> Stoneberg! Was Trigve not sent there by father to help? We must go! Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. This was my last day on Midgard. to get on the other side. Thank you, Drenger. Thank you. 
Move! Move! Get to safety! Forgive me. There's nothing you can do now. Get to safety. Show me what lies ahead. man, Eivor. You carry the woman. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here today. <laughs> oh, thank you, your father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. Thank you, Philly. Thank you. I draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Willy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Vili. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. 
Billy, stop. Eivor, wait a moment. Heminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Billy lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Willy myself. He was right. The Kinder Downfall is beautiful. Now, where is he? What see you, old friend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Eivor, you found my secret hoard. I would be deaf to have not heard your singing. Your crow's craggle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the picks, they've worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. But look at my father. A battle-worn veteran, carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I'd used just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You would always be welcome to live and prosper with us. But that is a matter between you and your father. I could make the old man understand. But I have no desire to be Jarl, and he must accept that. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! Him and Ayala is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes.
you both together again like this. It recalls days long past. Makes me feel young again. Hold on to that feeling and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Avon. A warrior and a leader. Worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Heming Ayal. You, chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. A dirty hair. Boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become, son. And I am proud, proud of what you will become, no matter, I, uh, I, uh, uh. Father, Willy. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of the Shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trigve needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Show me. Journey. 
streets of the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Eivor. Drenkur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemming Gurjav. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trikve. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingu Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later, to save you from them, once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He's a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> It was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming Ayal. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Himminger desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It is a good idea, but let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety.
my eyes soon. And... <laughs> With Heminger Yard gone and Lily all the reins, will he guide us through? We are actually a trip at all or talk up here, and any sin you have to find to make money. Kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Heminger left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingriark with ale and open arms. You have the gift of foresight, Seer. Can you augur what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Heminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. <laughs> Volva, I... Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trigvi, there is no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jutten, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. Survey the area, Sunan. <laughs> 
Aid me. Be my eyes. Hemming Ayal, is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's hall? I've well in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All-Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. A struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory, as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. 
Fate weaved our futures long ago. We're only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Blunted by indecision. Too late, warriors now. Never waver. You did, Heming Ayal. You did. And that is why my words should land true. Trust your judgment. This is how I remember you. This is why I fight so well. Remember you.
soon, Hemingway. Shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. My words should land on you. And that is why my words should land true. Trust your judgment. This is why I fight so well. Too soon, Hemingway Yard. Shire's fate is uncertain. Indecision. You lead warriors now. Never waver. That is why my words should land true. Trust your judgment. You pushed me, Heminger. I never intended this. No regrets, save for you have given me the great battle death I sought in life. 
You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? Comes to welcome me to his hall. 